Good evening, YouTube. Today we're working on a Grizzly 125 quad. Um, it doesn't run, so I already checked for spark. We have spark. The, um, the air filter is not terribly dirty, so we have air. So we're assuming it's the carburetor. So I have a carburetor rebuild kit. And we're gonna take take the carburetor out, which is sitting down in here. First thing you need to do is you take the seat off, which it has a it has a latch on the back here. You pop the seat off, and you need to take this fairing off. So you take the uh, you unscrew the gas cap. There's a uh, where do they go? Right here. There's two two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the back end in. And then up front here, you gotta loosen this cover up. And then there's five millimeter hex uh, nuts. One over there. Let's see if I can get it. And one over there, okay? Then you can take that cover off and that gives you better access to the, uh, to the um, carburetor. Then you need to, four screws here. One, two, three, four screws. Take the air box off, loosen, loosen the, um, the clamp on the front here. All Phillips head, take that off. And then there's uh, 10 millimeter, where did I put them? The 10 millimeter, there's two of them, one on each side of the uh, carburetor. The, um, not the intake, but the, uh, the um, right here, the, I don't know what you would call it. The manifold between the carburetor and the uh, cylinder. All right, so there's two 10 millimeters. Let's see if you can see right there. Two 10 millimeters. You loosen it up, and then you can take the carburetor off. Okay, so I'm taking the carburetor off, and then I'll I'll come back on with the video. Part of the problem: the fuel in the bowl came out really, really dirty looking. This is uh, this is not good fuel. So we'll clean that out. Um, we have the kit. The kit is F77502, and um, there's all the parts inside here. Get it out. These are the parts to rebuild. So we'll start taking it apart, and I'll film step by step. Um, there is a, uh, a clutch, not a clutch, a uh, choke. It goes down in this tube. So um, I had to take that off. That was a 14 millimeter. And then you have to use a pair of Crescent to get, uh, if it's tight. Usually you can do it by hand, but this is where the throttle, the throttle body goes down in here. And that's where that, uh, the pin and that, um, that block goes up and down to uh, either have more airflow or less airflow. Okay, so we'll start rebuilding. Part, and it is filthy. It is just filthy inside there. And this is why it wasn't running. I mean, just look at this thing. This is brass, this black thing right here. This was the old float. This is the old float um, pin receptacle. And this is what it's supposed to look like. This is a new one. Look at the two of them side by side. Okay, so all I've done so far was I took took the float off. You pop the pin out through these three two holes here. Uh, this where is it? This pin right here. You take the float off, and that lets you get down into this hole here is where these these two are sitting. So you take the one out, and you clean it out in there, and you put the new one in. I got to take this thing apart. I hope it doesn't disintegrate on me while I'm pulling it apart. And then I'm going to try and do the other jets. But this is what we're working with so far. Okay, so what we've done so far. Okay, on this carburetor. All right. We replace this piece. That's this. Here's all the old pieces. So we replace this piece. Okay. Replace the uh, air fuel mixture. This is the uh, bucket that the uh, the pin 
the float pin goes into. This was, believe it or not, this thing that was completely black and had a jet on the top of it. So I cleaned it all up and um, put the new jet on. That's the old one. Um, had a spring. Which one had a spring? This this one had a sp had this spring in it. So th those are the and then of course the the gasket was in great shape. So we placed this, took this this jet out and cleaned it. There isn't one in the kit. There's nothing like that in the kit. This kit is I guess for multiple units because there's there's nothing like this. We don't have a clip like that. Um, we don't have this. This goes on the throttle body. This is the pin that goes into the throttle body, and here's our gasket. So um, we cleaned this up, took it out and cleaned it up, put that new jet on the top of it, put the bucket and the, the pin together and put, put our float back together, changed this out, took this one out and cleaned it. You need a really fine, you need a screwdriver like this, really like uh, one you would use for um, eyeglasses. We change this out. This is the um, this this screw right here, the air air fuel mixture. Um, took this out and cleaned it. There's nothing in the kit for this. Let's see. Um, took this out. There's nothing in the kit for this either. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. Nothing in the kit that matches that. Um, and there was one more on here. Okay, this screw down here, um, took it out and cleaned it. There's nothing in the kit for that either. Okay, so I'm going to put it back together again. And uh, then I'll, I'm will i going to stop the film and then I'll start it back up once I'm putting the quad back together. I got it all put back together again. Carburetor's up in there. Uh, fasten back in the, the um, 10 millimeter nuts. Um, the choke is uh, 14 millimeter. To, to refasten that on the other side, let me show you. Choke is, is right here, 14 millimeters. Put this on hand tight. I wouldn't go any much tighter than that. It doesn't need to be. Uh, here's your here's your 10 millimeters. Two of them, one on each side, and then you just put your air box back on with the with the band clamp. But uh, unfortunately, it won't start. I guess this thing is so gummed up, um, it won't start. Even though I changed most of the, the jets in there. Um, that one main main uh, thing is, is really gummed up and there wasn't a replacement part for it. I changed the gas, the gas in the tank was horrible so I, I uh, pumped it all out and I put fresh gas in and then I even checked the, uh, the starter. I took this apart and I used some uh, uh, four-aught uh, steel wool on the, uh, on the electrodes, the, uh, the connectors, and that still didn't do it. So. I'm thinking we need, a, we need a new carburetor. All right, that's it for this. That's it for this um, build. Mike Machines out.